All right, so you want to go to college or you have certain goals and you feel like you need to understand certain things to do those things, um, but you don't have the money to go to school. I know I don't. I'd love to go to college, but I just don't have the money. So, and I have gone to college a little bit here and there, like classes, but I just never have had the money to keep up with it or the time, really. So, what do you do? What do you do? So what do you want to be is the question, really. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm talking to you guys. A lot of you guys are into hip-hop. You're trying to do this hip-hop music stuff. But as an example, say you want to run a restaurant business. The best way to learn how to run a restaurant business is to go work for a restaurant. Get paid university. <laughs> You know, you just go and even if you have to work a menial job and maybe work your way up or maybe you'll just learn a lot, you go there and you learn everything you possibly can and just count that as your college basically and you're learning how a restaurant business works. Once you get to the point where you've learned enough there, either get ready to start your own business, continue learning, you know, just other business things from books and stuff. Or maybe go work for like a bigger restaurant or something. One that really is doing something close to what you'd like to do. Same thing with the hip hop stuff. Um, you know, a lot of people in hip hop have come up by being like, um, especially from the old school, like Jermaine Dupri. I know he was, um, you know, he became kind of a pretty big, uh, you know, producer and all that. And I don't know, he's done a lot of stuff within the industry and made music, obviously. Um, but he started out as a backup dancer for, I forget for who, <laughs> but it was one of those old school rappers and stuff. And a lot of people have started out that way. Um, you know, get involved in the community of hip hop or music or whatever. Maybe you can help doing some promotions, maybe work at a bar where they play hip hop a lot. Um, you know, get to know what's going on in the industry by being part of that industry in whatever small way. And then once you kind of figure some things out and you learn some things, then you can better attack the career of being a hip hop artist. So, you know, whatever's going on in your area, do that. If you need to move somewhere, if you don't really want to, if you're okay with moving somewhere and you don't um, see that kind of opportunity in your area, do that. Why not? You know, if you can. Um, and move to New York, move to LA, you know, a lot of people do that. So, and just get involved in the industry somehow, some way, and you're going to get paid. I mean, some stuff you have to do for volunteers. So, okay, that's fine. But, um, there's also ways you can get involved and actually have a job and get paid to learn. So you don't even care that the paycheck is that small because what you're really there for is learning. So it's like, wow, I get some money to learn. That's about it. A lot of people have done that too, by the way. I'm not just saying this as, you know, this is my advice, you should do it, but does it really work? I don't know. No, a lot of people do that. That is a very um, well-known way for learning. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, if it was, please like, comment, subscribe, share. All that stuff is really helpful. And if you want some free beats, plexbeats.com. Um, there will be a link in the notes. I'll talk to you on the next Artist Advantage tip. Peace out.